psychotic left has just gone ape crap crazy over the verdict uh, in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. And it's amazing to me because it just shows their ignorance, their absolute lack of any knowledge, or if they know, they're just flat out liars. Uh, But they seem to be completely ignorant to the facts. And the facts are that it was very clear from the very beginning this guy shouldn't even shouldn't have even been on trial, let alone convicted. But they continue to treat it also as a racial situation, which I can't for the life of me understand when it was white on white violence. I so how how are you making this a racial issue? I mean, the only way that you can you know tie that in is that it's you know the riots were brought the, on part, by part of the summer of love, right? I yes. Mean, so it was within that framework. But really, this particular trial has nothing right. to do with that. Right. But you know, we had you know we had our vice president weighing yes. in. Yes. Yeah, she weighed uh, in. Uh, as, uh, she was uh, you know over her uh, over she was ending the France trip. And uh, did her nice uh, walk up to the press right after the trial, which I thought was great. She, she's, she's great. It's good that she's wearing black. Hey guys, well it was a good trip, and um, I have questions about the verdict, and the verdict really speaks for itself. Verdict As many of you know, I've spent a majority of my career working to make the criminal justice system more equitable, and clearly there's a lot more work to do. Thanks. Thanks, all. Right. What? We're it okay, what? <laughs> clearly, there's a lot more work to do, Pat. Okay, it's clearly uh, trying to make it. She was trying to make the justice system more equitable, <laughs> and obviously, there's a lot more work to do because this wasn't equitable. What do you mean? What? <laughs> what? What wasn't equitable about what happened here? Did any any of you people, any of you morons? spend any time watching the trial or investigating what was said at the trial or finding out any of the facts. No. There's no way they did that. There's no way. There's no way. And in fact, uh, Joe Biden admitted that he hadn't he hadn't seen the trial, so he had comments anyway. I just heard a moment ago. Do you have any reactions? I I didn't watch the trial, so I. Oh. oh. Stand by your past comments equating him to white supremacy. Well, look. Well, look. I stand by what the jury has concluded. The jury system works. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. What then? What do you mean you stand by the verdict? What does that mean? <laughs> that if it was a verdict that you didn't like. You would have changed it somehow? Like you have that power? Uh, okay. Uh, he he didn't stand by what he said previously, but what he said previously essentially was that Kyle Rittenhouse was a white supremacist. And they, uh, at least to her credit, the reporter there was asking him about, do you, you know, stand by your, your insinuation that Kyle Rittenhouse is a white supremacist? Well, look, um... I the the jury and stuff. I look. I've said too much already. I've said too much. <laughs> Just answer the question. You still think Kyle Rittenhouse is a white supremacist? And if so, based on what? Thank you. Where do you get that? Thank you. Because I don't see any evidence of it anywhere.